Y'all, it ain't my week, man. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle, everybody. Keeping it moving and grooving like always, man. Um, just pulled up to Chris's, you guys. I'm going to give you guys some updates, show you guys some cars that just got done and all that good stuff. Um, I'm in the 07 Audi A4 right now, you guys. Let me actually show you um, what I did myself, and then I'll tell you what I've been noticing. So in the front here, you guys, I know I said I was going to get this thing detailed and have them remove it, but your boy actually had enough time to go ahead and remove that uh, bug deflector or bug guard, whatever you call it, off of the front. So um, I'm gonna actually end up probably doing that myself. And maybe even if I got enough time, I'll detail it myself, at least the interior. So um, if not, then we're just gonna pay for an interior detail, that's it. But uh, anyways, this car here, y'all, um, it's gonna need those rear brakes and rotors for sure. I did start noticing when I was going over bumps that I was hearing a clunk in the front left. So um, that's something that we got to mess around with and see what's up. And then it's got that EVAP leak, like I told y'all before. Um, over here, man, Buick Saber is finally done. Um, this thing, we did the uh, new valve cover gaskets. Let me open up this real quick. We did uh, the new valve cover gaskets. We did um, new spark plugs and wires, iridium um, spark plugs cost me some money um he said he cleaned this up as best as he could with um degreaser and stuff it looks pretty good compared to what it was it was sludge everywhere y'all so um that's good y'all got that all taken care of so and then also we did uh rear shocks rear air shocks on this car let me show y'all the interior of this car actually because it's actually pretty clean um we'll see what's up and then he had to buy like um a uh a couple of repair kits or whatever oh i forgot about that battery hopefully this battery is not bad i don't think it was bad um i think after i jumped it we were good but if worst case scenario i might have to buy a battery i'm hoping not um over here man let me show you what we got um he diagnosed this so good thing about the chevy cruise is that it just it needs the valve cover and the valve cover gasket so i actually found a valve cover um for like 40 bucks um, plus um, I got the valve cover gaskets um, or gasket for 16 bucks oil filter 31 bucks and that's what's the valve cover is the reason why it's spitting out that code so basically I'm getting one repair that's going to basically fix the oil leak plus fix the uh, check engine light so I'm happy about that um, let's roll up in here real quick 06 Dodge Grand Caravan we cut this light on see so the 06 dodge grand caravan y'all this thing is ready front brakes and rotors and then uh we did the rear left caliper so like i said by me doing all of that all that did was make the price of this car go up now so now that this car doesn't need anything mechanically i may even delete it offline and repost it and uh at a higher price so um, we'll just see how things go um i don't know exactly how far we're going to get into these cars today just because it is sunday y'all i usually don't work on sundays and today's family day i got a barbecue um with my brothers and all the kids and everything so uh, worst case scenario i will see you guys tomorrow um here's that valve cover gasket that i bought dorman makes this you guys um for that chevy cruise all right we in the lesabre y'all i'm gonna show you how this thing drive get it up to speed the big test is gonna be once we go over this bump because last time we was fishtailing when we went over the bump or whatever so um see if i feel like that misfire which i'm not actually i'm at 50 right now y'all let me see i'm just gonna get around this dude real quick uh we up to 60. oh yeah okay you hit man so this is gonna be a good sale this is gonna be a quick sale man 150,000 uh, miles on a buick lesabre with a 3800 motor in it um this is a, a easy sale Let's go over this bump real quick. And plus you got the air ride that's fixed in the back. So that's going like right there. That's already money. Plus the tune up. Let's go. Let's see. All right. There's a railroad right there, y'all. So right in front of us, we're going to see how she do over this bump. Let's go. 
let's go let's go <laughs> all right man so we good with this boy is trying y'all um to get y'all these auction walk around videos but it's not happening man today just wasn't the day um i was getting ready to do it went out there drove a little bit of cars got a little bit of footage but didn't have enough for a video somebody hit me up for the chevy suburban if y'all been watching the videos y'all know how long i've been waiting to sell this i haven't even showed this truck at all to anybody so um got a lady sounds like she's really really serious about it so um i'm shooting out i'm on the highway right now you guys shooting out to storage you gotta grab the suburban um hop in there and then meet her at the office so we can get this deal done man so wish your boy luck your boy need the money face on that one especially man I'm, i don't care if i break even even if i lose a couple hundred dollars i'm fine with that because i'm trying to get rid of the gas guzzler so we only got two left y'all that's the um that car and then you already know about the escalator so let's get it okay so we are here y'all at the office um i already got the suburban obviously change the scenery up a little bit um the lady should be here in about eight minutes show y'all this car before they get here um so yeah here she is man it's been a while since you guys seen it um but it didn't start up i had to um i had to uh jump it or whatever the case may be um it did have some juice to it but it's just been sitting for like four months so um that's to be expected it's a little windy out here but uh here she is man so we are going to see if it gets sold hopefully this thing is out of there man i'm tired of seeing it it's a good running truck, but like I said, nobody's actually came out and seen it. So um, um, let's let's see what happens, man. Just look at that, man. So I think this thing might get sold, man. Um, the girl, there, I sold the Benz to the friend that came along with her. So, um, and they loved that Benz. So when she saw me, she smiled and was like, and I was looking at her like, what's going on? So um, she was like, I think I bought my Benz from you. And so I was like, yeah. So um yeah they happy and they drove off and we're gonna see what happened man so I, I i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have a money face um if not it just ain't my week right <laughs> y'all it ain't my week man i couldn't sell it so um she just said it was too big for her. um yeah show you suburban too big for her, man so um unfortunately that's that i gotta go back to basically do the same thing i just did bring the car back and then <laughs> Bring the car back, man, and then uh, get in my van. So I will see you guys soon. Today's gonna be a beautiful day, man. Most definitely, it's a new day, y'all. I just look the same. So, anyways, man. Um, I what am I got going on, man? Um, little, let's start off with the bad news. Bad news, which I'm not really tripping on, y'all. Um, the Chevy Cruze is becoming like kind of like a little nightmare. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Um, just ended up getting an intake manifold um, for it. That cost me $150. Um, we had to do the front crank seal, so it, was, it wasn't just the valve cover, uh, the valve covers and the valve cover gasket. Um, so we've been adding stuff on. Then it's needed, it needs a solenoid. So I'm on my way right now to uh, Friendly Chevy in Friendly, Minnesota. Um, just found that solenoid for seventy-five dollars. Um, we could have got it for thirty-six dollars, but unfortunately nobody had it uh, in the state of Minnesota. So it would came out of Ohio. We had to wait a couple of days. We're not going to wait a couple of days for forty dollars. Um, so. I'm headed there, we're gonna grab that. I gotta drop that to Chris. He's actually working on that thing at his job, so that's good. Um, I gotta run out to uh, Certified Auto Recycling in Ham Lake, Minnesota. I gotta grab the uh, master window switch for that Audi A4. Plus, we got two people wanting to see cars this evening. So we got the uh, another showing for the Cadillac Escalade. It's very, it's, this is real shocking when I think about it because we've been getting showings for these, uh, these bigger trucks. Um, lately, which is very odd because we wasn't getting it even when it's cold, but it's all good, man. Hopefully, I don't have to keep on showing these dang cars. They're gonna be coming out from two hours away in Brainerd, Minnesota. So, um, hopefully, we get that Escalade going. And then um, the Buick Saber, which we just posted yesterday, I got somebody that seems like he's serious. Um, so, he'll be coming out. Hopefully, he said he'll confirm a little later um, and see if that ends up working out with him and all that good stuff, man. So, um, plus, another thing is I just one two more cars today um so i got two plays in my opinion we're gonna do the, we're gonna pick those up on separate videos so we're gonna do our normal thing with that um get y'all going with that man but um i did want to most definitely um end the video right now y'all because it's going to be a pretty long-winded video and i don't like really making really long videos um i feel like you guys engage more with the smaller uh videos about 10 minutes 15 minutes or whatever the case may be so um if you guys did enjoy this video um go ahead and give your boy the thumbs up man um i keep on telling you guys check out the links in the description below you guys um for the jump packs all the tools and all that stuff that i use you guys 
um, the stocks and all of that stuff, man. So shout out to everybody that's got their free stocks. Um, shout out to JB on Parker, man. He, he, I haven't seen you on here, man. Make sure you comment below. Let me know you're still there, man. Um, but um, JB on Parker most definitely uh, took the the stock. He, he's at least he's been very vocal about rocking with the stock market like he was like i'm not even messing with the or not the stock market but crypto he's not even messing with the cars he said so he's been rocking with the uh with the uh, crypto man so stuff down there man i use i'm invested in that stuff i get all of that stuff man the the, the gift cards the you know get upside the the link is down there for y'all um you can get you some gift cards and all that stuff man so um i don't pay for my toiletries i don't pay for my toiletries toiletries y'all i'm talking about like my uh, paper towels, my napkins and all that stuff, y'all. I get a gift card. I go over there to uh, Target or Walmart, and then I use um, those funds to pay for that. So, you know, you got to make your money work for you. So you got to just remember that, man. If you want to actually build some wealth, preserve some wealth, that's some stuff you guys are going to want to get used to, man. But anyway, it goes, man. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.